हे एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज ऑन पाइथन रिक्वेस्ट लाइब्रेरी एंड टूडे इट्स जस्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इट डेट वॉट वी आर गोन लर्न थ्रू आउट दिस सीरीज सो द अल्टीमेट गोल विच वील कीप थ्रू आउट दिस सीरीज इज टू लर्न द रिक्वेस्ट लाइब्रेरी एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डू वी मेक डिफरेंट रेस्ट ए पी आई कॉल्स यूजिंग द रिक्वेस्ट लाइब्रेरी ऑफ पाइथन ऑल राइट अगेन वी विल ओनली फॉलो द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इन्वॉल्व वेन वी आर वी आर यूजिंग दिस लाइब्रेरी सो डैट वेन एवर यू अंडरस्टैंड एनी थिंग यू नो हाउ टू यूज इट इन अ रियल वर्ल्ड ऑल राइट सो फर्स्ट थिंग टू नोटिस इज रिक्वेस्ट लाइब्रेरी इज यूज टू मेक रेस्ट ए पी आई कॉल्स सो वी शुड हैव अ रेस्ट ए पी आई फॉर टेस्टिंग ऑल राइट सो यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन वी हैव एन ए पी आई कॉल गो रेस्ट डॉट को डॉट इन सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ फ्री टू यूज पब्लिक ए पी आई एंड अगेन द रिस्पॉन्सेज आर रियल वेन एवर वी मेक अ डिफरेंट रेस्ट ए पी आई कॉल्स कैन इट कैन बी गेट कॉल अ पोस्ट कॉल और एनी काइंड ऑफ एनी मैथड कॉल राइट पोर्ट पुट और अ डिलीट एनी एनी रेस्ट ए पी आई कॉल बट अगेन यू विल गेट रियल रिस्पॉन्सेज बट द डेटा विच यू विल गेट आर जस्ट फेक डेटा दो डेटा डजेंट एक्चुअली एग्जिस्ट इन रियल वर्ल्ड दी आर जस्ट फेक डेटा फॉर टेस्टिंग ऑल राइट and it this api follows all the rest norms so again we will be just using the best rest api for testing and again we will be using the best practices for learning the request library all right so uh, to for this api i will just show today i'll just show the demo of how this rest api actually works uh, before actually using it in the python project using the request library all right so i have a postman collection of it so basically what it is is so if you it is about just it it actually has a lot of endpoints like you can get user details posts comments to do's it's like a social in a social media whatever exists right users post comments these kind of things it's just a, a demo or you know a blueprint of it so we are just using the users endpoint as of now to understand so what we have is like this 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 particular endpoint is used to get all the users which exist in this database so you can see we are able to get a lot of end users but again this is for page 1 you can add a query parameter and say give me page 2 so once you send this request you will get page 2 and again you can just keep keep playing with this page variable or the page query parameter to get other responses but yes this is how you get all the users response again if you want to get a single user let's say this this particular id so what you have to do is you just have to go to this particular endpoint and enter the user id and you will get the response right this is the same response which you have here all right so this is how you just get the responses of users uh, if you want to create a new user you already have an endpoint for it you just need to make a post request to users and you can name it any let's just name it sample uh gender let's just keep it as email and okay we have an endpoint and let's just call it requests and this is the status these these are four things which you need to provide and once you click on send okay it will give you a response that okay the user is created how do you know it because you get the 201 response it means created and you also have a response saying this is the new id for the user all right if you are just copy this id and go to the get user details endpoint or the single user endpoint so see we are getting the response we are getting the new user which we just created again you can update the details of the user as well so i have the id let's just update the name to sigma gender just keep it as it is uh email we can just ignore let's not change the email and just change the status from active to inactive all right so once we send it we got a response saying 200 okay it means our our request is fulfilled successfully and we have got the id id will not be changed but again the other details which we have updated are changed so if i just copy this new id and enter it again actually the id will be same if i just send the request i can see the name is updated the status is updated from active to inactive so you can see the api is working fine the postman collection is ready uh, one more thing which we can just check is the delete user if i have the id and i want to delete the user which we just created i have got okay 
204 no content it, it it just basically means 204 basically means our request was successful for delete uh, if, if it it would have been unsuccessful uh, let's say if we enter some invalid id or uh, let's just try to enter any invalid id it will say message resource not found and we have got an error all right so since we entered the correct id and if again we will enter the same id we will again get the same error because it already got deleted so you can check it from the get response as well all right so so our resource was deleted so you can see the rest api is working fine we have our this postman collection ready and set up uh, later on we will just see how what are the best practices involved before starting any re re any request project in python uh, again we will understand each and every method of it and how do we use the request library to make these rest api calls all right Again, if you want to use this particular API for practice, you have this endpoint in description as well. Uh, you will need the access token for it. So, if you need, if you want to access the access token, you can just click on this particular link. It will redirect you to this particular page where it will ask you to log in. You can log in with your Google account, the GitHub account, or if you have a Microsoft account. Once you have logged in, you will get this page where you have this access token with you. And using this access token, you can make the calls on this particular API. So one more thing to notice, this is just a Postman feature and not any other thing. This is just a Postman feature which I am about to show you. So you can see I haven't added any headers in any of my request. The, the authorization header, but still it is getting authorized. All right. How it is done is uh, I have just created a collection for it and I have written a pre request script where I have added a header. So this is how you add a header or you just add a script in a postman collection and this gets added in all the endpoints which you make in your collection. So this is just a postman feature, no need to worry about that. You can also do it, you can see it in the screen, you can how it is, it is done, you can just copy it. Alright, so now since we know what API we are going to use and what's our end goal, the end goal is to learn the request library to make sure that we are able to make all these API calls. So next time when we meet, we'll check out what are the best practices which we should follow before getting started into Python project using this request library. All right. So I will see you the next time.